Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another magical episode of Deck Pasito. This week, that's right, we're still here, we're still rocking, and we've got a very special one for you. It's called The Long Haul. Now, I know you guys might have heard a few things about The Long Haul before from several different sources, but this truly is The Long Haul Deck. This is the one that is going to embarrass your enemies. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Long Haul. Hall, baby. That is right. Here we are. What is the point of this day? Well, we've got a lot of things to talk about. You might notice two of these bad boys down here. A lot of low mana cards. But let's start talking. Farvon the Dreamer. Goat man. Oh, he's a sexy boy who spawns in these Prowler vanguards. Now, Farvon the Dreamer, what's he dreaming about? He's dreaming about the game continuing and not dying a horrible death. He's in it, baby. He wants to survive as long as possible in your game. So he's going to spawn in some creeps. We really have him to buy us some time. These big blockers that he has in here, they're pretty good, actually. Probably one of the better cards from any of the shitty creep heroes. Six armor. And we are six life and the give armor, and we're gonna be able to beat them, beef them up with our cards. But let's move on. Omni Knight, huge part of this deck. Mostly we've talked about this so many times, all seeing one's favor. It's so good if you're planning on having a wall or swarm deck. Basically, if you plan on having a lot of creeps, you want them to stick around, Omni Knight is great. Particularly great against Kana right now. Everybody is playing Kana, they love her, they want her to live and survive. If you put Omni Knight or any green card with All Seeing One's Favor in Kana's lane, your creeps will not die. Kana's eventually will, and it is very good against that. Sniper! Sniper is our late game hero. He's a fan who was coming around for a long time. He dips out early. He, you know, it, it ain't for him. Things are bad. He doesn't have a lot of faith. But when that game is at its worst, Sniper will come back and he will fight. He will survive. He will assassinate level 10 HP heroes with anything that they got on them. You're those big red heroes that have been whooping your ass all game. He's going to shoot them. He's going to kill them. Prelix. Whew. Let's talk about Prelix. A lot of people tell me Prelix is a garbage card. I'm not going to disagree with you. Prelix is not great. Her passive ability, Barracks, is awful. Spawn one creep into a lane, that's pretty bad. But... If you build a deck around her like we are today, she can be pretty good. And this deck is all about making bodies to block to get us to the end game to make the long haul. So allowing her to be able to block up those lanes, pretty strong stuff. Finally, we have my boy Rix, Slick Rix. Rest in peace, Richie Garfield. You will be, remember, Rix is still here, Slick Rix. His job is literally to die. He has no other job. His job is to die and come back. You will find out soon very much why let's go into the cards so what is the point of this deck right here path of the dreamer the path cards are awful you got path of the bold which gives one damage awful you got the black path really bad one siege is horrible even if you could choose what hero you put it on it's horrible you got the blue card which is all right the green one path of the dreamer this one is i would say the best path of all give your tower plus three regeneration now it doesn't sound that good every time you play a blue a green card you get plus three regeneration but stacking these bad boys on the same lane just two of these means that any card that you play is going to give you six regen to a tower let me remind you there's only four okay that's like 10 percent now if you stack three of them ooh, we're talking big boy we're talking a third of your towers uh, a total HP pool just from one hit. So, Path of the Dreamer, baby, it is good, especially with this deck because we have a bunch of low, low mana cards. Juke! This one's pretty good to save the sniper's life early in the game, saving Prelix's life mid game, and just spamming late game to get heals from these Path of the Dreamers. Stars Align is our secret weapon. One mana gives you two more mana. Eh, technically, when you minus the one mana from three mana, you know what I'm saying. Putting these down late game on those lanes with Path of the Dreamer gives you those big boy heals and allows you to play even more cards to take a tower that only has two HP and bring her back up to 40 in a big surprise move. Now, not a lot of people bring tower heals. It's not meta. Nobody's doing it. Which is why we have our secret weapon of the entire deck, Bitter Enemies. Now, this card is so rare, nobody uses it. 
I will go ahead and actually read you the description. After the combat phase, remove a charge from dinner enemies before the action phase. If there are zero charges, it does six damage to both towers. Now this card is like playing the oath. You're basically saying, here I go, I'm going in on this lane, see if you can stop me. Sometimes it works out really bad and you will kill yourself. You will lose the game. You're gonna bitter enemies your own lane. However, in this deck, we have power shields, something that no one else is currently bringing an artifact, which means it is okay if we're dealing damage to our own tower because we can heal it. Now the big strength of this card, again, just like Path of the Dreamer, is stacking these up. Six, 12, 18 damage, dude. 18 damage if you get three of them in one lane. That's absurd. That's almost half of a full HP tower. Not to mention, it never stops, baby. We're talking when you take the ancient, uh, expose the ancient, we're still pounding it. We're still hitting it. This card can be so good if you are planning it right. But you need to be very, very careful with this card, okay? If you don't see any heals in your hand, I would highly suggest you do not play this card. Do not put it out on round one unless you're doing massive damage already in round one somehow. Just be careful. Be very careful. But see your heals. Know that they're coming. More tips. I'm going to spend a lot of time on this card because it's basically the entire premise of the deck. Bitter enemies, much like the developers and the people still playing the game right now, it, they're going to tear each other down. It's going to be hard. They're going to hurt each other. You need to know when to play this bad boy. There's two reasons. Number one, reason to play this card, I'm doing a lot of damage and I know I'm gonna win that race because they don't have heals and I do. Number two, I have already exposed the Ancient on there. My Ancient is already exposed, excuse me. I have 80 HP, they have 40, and if all things are kept equal, I will take this tower. Those are the two situations you want to play bitter enemies. Careful with this shit. Don't just throw it out there willy-nilly, all right? You're gonna kill your own community. <laughs> Next one. Romaneski Blessing. This one is uh, not typically the greatest card in the world. It actually is really helpful putting it in with Sniper and Prelix. Prelix is an awful card because she has no HP. Six out of eight HP for only three mana forever. That is a modified card. That's actually really good. Not to mention, again, it is a low mana cost green card. So it's not only good for healing your hit team, it's good for healing your allies. Very nice card. Agnum Sanctum. We gotta use this in the late lane, in the late game, excuse me. More mana means more cards being played means more healing. In this deck, you're not gonna do a lot until round six. You're basically going to put down whatever cards you can to survive, then you're gonna spam the hell out of them as soon as you get these Path of the Dreamers down. So, Agnum Sanctum, of course, is gonna let you have as much mana as possible. Dimensional Portal, this one is in here to have some help with Arm the Rebellion. Arm the Rebellion is a huge part of this deck. We're building a wall to try to stop them from killing us and making it to the late game. Arm the uh, Rebellion allows you to make that wall stronger, make that Prelux be able to hit. And if you have a bunch of creeps that aren't dying, mixed with Omni Knight's passive, Arm the Rebellion, and uh, in a Prelux lane, you can be very confident to put down your bitter enemies and know that you're gonna take that tower, maybe even that Ancient, before they do. One word of advice on Arm the Rebellion, think about saving that until you have eight mana. It is very tricky to put down two of these at once and have a bunch of creeps just instantly taking something huge that your enemy didn't expect. Prowler Vanguard, passive, good, armor, etc. Barracks, awful, but whatever, we need creeps. Act of Defiance, surprisingly okay nowadays. Keep that bad boy in your back pocket, you'll be surprised at how often it works, especially with Ricks. Now we told you why Ricks was going to be important on this one. Ricks never has downtime. He can always be up, which means no matter how bad the lane is going, you know that you can go back to it and play green cards allowing for heals, which is a huge part of this deck. Sometimes you're just going to get smashed in a lane. No hope, no chance, but Rix is able to come back and play a few cards if he doesn't get insta-killed, especially with his passive ability if there's only one hero in that lane, and he can heal that bad boy up guaranteed every single time. You'll be surprised at how much that saves your ass. Assassinate again. You always want Sniper to be in that first lane if you can because you have Assassinate and Steam Cannon. Sniper is your late game boy. You want to have Sniper in the lane with Kana and a green hero at all times. We're stacking up three heroes in this deck because we want to be hurting people. These heroes do no damage. Literally all your damage is going to come from Assassinate and Steam Cannon. 
So put those bad boys down as quick as possible, hopefully in a lane that has a Agnum Sanctum so you can put two down at a time. Speaking of that, Rose Leaf Rege Rejuvenator. I'm always going to say Regenerator. Rose Leaf Rejuvenator. Seven heal on your tower, seven attack. She's actually the strongest hitter in the entire deck, including all of your heroes. But what is important is her correlation with, again, the Path of the Dreamer. That is 10 HP alone if you put her in the Path of the Dreamer lane. That is a uh, four, 10%, I don't know. It's a very huge chunk of your tower. This ta card can save your ass, especially if you get something like Celebrate. So, Kana, or Prelix, excuse me, her only job is to spawn creeps, spawn the Dimensional Portal, spawn creeps, and wait for Celebrate. If you can get Celebrate down, it does not matter how effed up your tower is. We're talking one damage. You will make it. You will survive. That is important. That is the big deal right there. So, Celebrate needs to go down with this chick, and she needs a green hero, and she needs a black hero stack up those three <sighs> so other advice i can give you this deck not particularly good against the mono blue i do have to admit it is very strong against red decks black decks sometimes mixed decks because it just has those tower heals and there's nothing people can do about it it does struggle however against mono blue and mono black Mono Blue, don't forget, both the damage teams, that's actually going to do damage to your tower before the phase is over, meaning that no matter how many heals you get on that tower, she's still going to take that 20 damage first. So, if your tower has under 20 damage and you have 40 being a regen, you're still going to lose. That sucks, that hurts, but what can you do? Uh, Mono Black has the ability to push just as hard as you, and if you put down a bitter enemies on a Mono Black deck, you might be surprised at how quick they can turn it around and make you really regret that shit. Anyway, let's talk about items. Stonehall Cloak, great for Cypher, great for Prelix, so keep that bad boy around for them. Bracers of Sacrifice, always have one in a Rix. You never know when Rix needs a free TP to get out of a lane and to kill some stuff on the way. Red Mist Maul, again, our heroes aren't barely doing any damage. Four, five, five, two. <laughs> it's awful. So having some kind of way to hit a tower and help out is essential in this deck. The shield, a rare one that sometimes I use if they have a swarm deck. If they have a bunch of creeps, a bunch of units, if they got their own Prelix Kana, you want to grab a shield and make sure that you can make it to that late game before things go out of control. Hell of a Dominator, of course, is my late game. I am fucked card. Uh, we are planning on making it to the late game, so making sure to have one of these in your deck is pretty important. Same thing with Vesper of the Tyrant. These are two 19 mana cards that will completely change a game in your favor. You're not going to make a lot of money in this deck. You'll probably be able to afford only one of these 19 mana cards. Oh god, I just took it out of my deck. You're probably only going to be able to afford one throughout the entire game. So make your choice depending on what your enemy has. If they have a bunch of spammy creep heroes, go for the Vester. If they have a blue and green deck, go for the Helm. But you're going to need to steal something. Something's going to mess you up. Anyway, that's about it for the long haul. Don't forget to stay very calm. You're going to lose. When the game begins, you're going to lose. The intro is going to be awful. All of your fans, your heroes, are going to die. They're going to leave. Everything is going to look like a disaster. But if you can stay in there, if you can survive long enough to make the necessary improvements to keep that game going, then maybe, just maybe, those five people left on your team can make it to the end and others will be able to survive too. That's it for the long haul, baby. Enjoy this gameplay. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, and if you want to win a prize, I need a replay from you. Go ahead and shoot me a suggestion or shoot me a replay of you doing massive heals on a tower. The more heals, the bigger chance you have of winning. Thanks a lot for watching. Deck Pasito. We'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the long haul. That is right, that babies. Still here, still kicking. Still playing Artifact. I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about playing the long haul. Now, here's the general consensus here. We're not going to do well early. We're going to premiere our deck. It's not going to go great. I mean, we're going to think sometimes it could. there's a possibility of it doing well. You know, I mean, 
all of us in the chat probably believe it's gonna do well, but then shit like this happens. Uh, your heroes are gonna die. For this game, by the way, uh, heroes, heroes, that's too syllable. I'm just gonna call the heroes the fans. So as you see there, uh, game comes out. <laughs> the uh, long haul game comes out. Some of the fans are immediately murdered and, uh, you know, start losing a lot of money. You're not going to make a lot of money in uh, the long haul, I'll tell you that much. It ain't going to be looking good. However, despite the disastrous beginning that we will see, there is a chance to come back. You see, there is a chance for greatness, which we will hopefully see here today. If you have the ability to heal, we must survive and heal is the uh, idea for the long haul. The big question is, of course, will we ever make it? Will we be able to heal? Will we ever draw those cards? I don't know. Hopefully, <laughs> let's go ahead and find out. Here we go. <laughs> Will we draw those cards? So, already get my booty kicked. Sniper, you gotta take that risk of him dying in round one. It's okay though, there's no better place for him to be because we're thinking about putting down bitter enemies. I didn't want to put it down yet because we weren't having a real hard hitting tout. Bitter enemies can be quite the double edged shield. As you can see right here, we're about to get double edged shield the hell out of here. We're about to die. So uh, you don't really want to put that down unless you've already done some kind of tower damage. Because as soon as you put down bitter enemies, the enemy is going to say, okay, time to all in on that lane. So it's kind of better, kind of better to save that for a bit. Path of the Dreamer, we are already taking some hits, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy down. We're gonna try to hold this baby together. Begin the healing. We need to heal in this lane. Level one juke. Of course, as I told you guys before, this deck has a lot of low mana, green card spells for that late game, that long haul. Because if I could build up a strong enough wall of creeps. We will survive this. Somehow. Go ahead and try to block up our boy here. Prowler Vanguard. Boom! A little bit of armor on there as well. Not too shabby against Sven. Cuts that cleave up a little bit. But. Ooh! Auto buy. Thank you, Val. I didn't even try to click that healing sound, but look at that. I'm trying to heal it already. Atta boy. <laughs> Oh, Slick Ricks! What's he doing in here? You might be asking yourself, well, Slick Ricks! His job is to die. He's what we call the passionate fan. He's just gonna keep throwing himself on the pile, hoping that it gets better. Will it ever get better? I don't know for poor Ricks. <laughs> Probably not for him. He's Ricks. He's just gonna keep on dying. But. Riss is just gonna keep throwing himself at the enemies there. He's gonna keep he's gonna keep going. He doesn't know what the future's like. He doesn't know if if, if things will ever get better, but he's gonna keep fighting. <laughs> he's gonna die a lot. Oh they're gonna oh, They're gonna destroy him. They're just gonna fuck him up. <laughs> Slick Ricks. He's gonna get hurt here. But he's gonna be okay. We got Woo! Ion Shell, baby boy. We're doing some significant damage here. I'm starting to think this might be a decent lane to start our bitter enemy. Shall we count down? I think we should. Let's get started. Bitter enemies, boys. Now, I don't usually like to throw this down unless I have some significant heals in the lane. We do have a Rosalie for Generator. So, Rejuvenator, excuse me. God, that's a sexy lane. So, uh,. We do have that. We do have a heal. So I'm thinking the, the contest begins here. Now, as I said before, the biggest thing about this deck is this bad boy right here. Path of the Dreamer. Get those subtle heals in, maintain, and then late game stack those Path of the Dreamers and make sure you got no problems at all. By now, we got a few problems. <laughs> so we're going to stay strong. We're going to stay real strong. Bitter Enemies is a round one card. Uh, I don't know about that, chat. I don't know about that. It's very much like using the Oath. You're basically saying, I'm going all in on this one. And it can bite you in the ass. If they can get your tower down before you get theirs, whoo! That's the thing, though. Right now, nobody's playing tower heals. 
So we're staying strong. We're holding on to that late game. Ugh. Now we haven't drawn any of our ramp cards yet, which is a toughie, which which hurts daddy. But we're gonna save those ramp cards. We're gonna heal up Omni Knight. We're going for the long haul. As you guys know, we've yet to do anything. <laughs> None of our cards have been effective. I understand. But we're just waiting. It, the time's coming. He's probably got a heal for that Legion. I probably shouldn't have wasted my initiative there, but F it. As I always say. Let's go ahead and slap Rex back in, our loyal fam! He's gonna go back up. She could make mistakes. She could potentially not heal that Legion Commander. These arrows, though. They're hurt. They're killing me. But look at those arrows! It actually kills my entire team. Oh! That ain't good! Of course we're gonna see the heal right here, right? No other no other trait. You heal the Legion up, prevent me from assassinating. Wow! I would not have done that. TP out. What's the point of that? Fire! Do anything to protect the ancients. The shield of Aquila. Really want to use one of these right now, but at the same time, does it really get me one beefed up creep? And if I save him for round eight, something truly special could happen. So let's go ahead and save those bad boys. We need more crepe. Yeah, we got some crepe right here. We could use it yet again, but we're gonna we're gonna. We're gonna hold off on that bad boy. We're gonna skip that bad boy. Again, we're not doing anything. But our towers are healthy. And the longer the game goes, the bigger chance we're probably gonna win this bad boy. Oh! It's gonna hurt today. That's okay. He'll be back. Don't you worry about it. Boom! And that's kind of the lane I wanna... I wanna lose that lane, you know? Out of all the lanes I gotta lose, the one with the only heal in it, probably pretty good. Next round, we're going to start to see the major damage out here, which is good, but i got to get these heroes out of here. I'll allow Ogre Magi to stay for a bit. I mean, what? Holy Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Ugh. It's okay, we got regen. Will we survive is the question. I'm actually going to buy that because we need a fucking cards right now. All right, we made it to seven damage. It's Sniper's time to shine. We also have initiative. So if she dares to put that Legion Commander in this lane, I'm going to shoot her immediately. HA! You really thought you were going to hurt my baby boy? Get out of here, bro. That's a sniper strength. Make it to round seven when these heroes start getting really big, and then you're able to do stuff like this. A -chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck. Pa -pow. Clear yourself up a little bit. We're gonna keep him in this lane as long as possible. We really gotta get Ricks out of here, though. He needs to leave. He gotta go. He's worthless right now. Also, these creep locations are worthless, too. Jesus. But that's okay. We're, we're in it for the long haul. Right now, Sniper, he's just waiting for his chance to come back into the game. The question is, will he come back into the game? Will he have the chance to? Or will Sniper just never come back? Because it doesn't feel like we're going to make it through the late game. Is that a champion of the ancient? I've literally never seen that card played before. Anyway. This is great for me. Champion of the ancient gets played. Great. Rix is out of the lane. Great. Bitter enemies is ready to strike. Great. That's very good. Champion of the Ancient is just a garbage card. Things are okay. Now we can put Ricks in this lane. Starting to like it. What I don't like is next round is level 8. Which means that we're going to start to see some time of triumphs. Which means that we really need to draw more of these Path of the Dreamers. If we don't get these Path of the Dreamers... Things are going to be really bad. But that's okay. We got two Rose Leaf Regenerators. Rejuvenators. Whatever. We'll see what happens here. Only the old and the wise can come back and save the long haul. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, oh. We had some major damage here. It might be a time for me to... It might be time for me to decide which lane I want to save. 15 damage in the mid lane, but it does have a heal. But, however, we have the ability to block right here, right now. Which 
because I was really good. Let's go ahead and see what this guy's got planned before we throws down our rose leaf rejuvenator, because there might be a chance. We got to use both those bad boys in the middle lane. Yeah, okay. He's just straight up killing me here. Time to make my call. What lane do I save? I think I'm saving the mid lane, which means that I'm just going to die here. I would like to keep my initiative. I'm actually just going to die here. I like. I like. We're just going to die. I'm going to let it happen. This is the sack to lay. I want to keep my initiative so I can slap down Steam Cannon because that's going to change a lot uh, coming up this round. We'll buy one of these. Why not? We're going to send all the boys to the mid. Let's party, boys. Give me that party music. Oh, now it's time. Long have we waited, but the fans are back. <laughs> the big boys have returned. There is a chance. Arm the cannons. Ready your anus. Come the death. Steam cannon, go! Fire! Ten damage. Woo. I thought he might do that. I thought he might do that. Which is great. Because I hold on to that. You guys ready? Who's ready for some regen? Show me. Show me the regen. What do you got? I know you want a time of triumph right now. I know you want to do it. Just slap that bad boy down. Don't even think about what I'm doing. <laughs> You're mine now, baby! Oh, 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 don't worry. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back. We're coming back now! I'm gonna go ahead and start the line here. Oh, you feel it? Can you feel the heal? Let's go ahead and I'll see one's favor after this. Go ahead, hit the button, baby! Hit the button! the button baby come on now you know it's gonna get bad <laughs> oh i don't even care about that lane anymore you've made horrible mistakes <laughs> heal this bitch up like i give a hoot like i give a hoot stars align like i give a hoot heal it up could play army rebellion but i'm gonna actually chill out here i want some creeps Mmm! Mmm! Is this actually gonna kill everyone? Did I just make a terrible mistake? Yeah. <laughs> well, we can't put one of these here against the tower damage now, though. Well, that's kinda hype. Woo! We back! We back! <laughs> kinda. I made a bit of horrible mistake there. Big oof. Uh, Kata doesn't really have any, I mean, Prolix doesn't really have any more uh, spells. Alright. Now we are running out of, we're having some issues in that first lane, though. We needed more heals. Could it be that I've caused my own destruction in the first lane by playing bitter enemies? We'll find out soon. Let's check it out. Hope not. <laughs> oh, no. Do have initiative, so we can put down our secondary steam cannon, which is going to do a lot for us. Make sure we have initiative. I could take a shot here before somebody dies, but I sure wish I had any creeps. That would really help me out. <laughs> With these three armed rebellions. But apparently creeps do not wish to join us on this one. <laughs> Alright. So we can insta-kill Legion. We could insta-kill Darkseer. I don't think that's necessary. I don't know if that one's necessary. I think we gotta insta-kill Legion and try to get some fucking survival in this baby. This is looking real bad for Daddy. He's got a big decision to make here. Okay, he's actually gonna go for that save. We have six damage there. 
Sniper's probably dead. He's waiting for me to time a triumph, actually. I think I just lose. <laughs> I think it's over. Uh, I can get this shot off before. Time a triumph. You won't feel a thing. So now he's going to time a triumph, and then I can still kill Legion, I think, with the eight damage from the, the blast. But I think we might have lost this one. Oh, it's over. It's over. I would have to go for lethal in this lane. Seems like a tough call there. Don't think that's gonna happen. Seven. Whew. I can two, four, six damage on that creep. That's eight damage plus seven. It's over, I've lost. He's gonna time a triumph right here and it is over for me. Goodbye. Easiest time of triumph of his life. Saves his Legion Commander. Saves his Yabba Dabba Dizzler. I'm fucked. What a shame. We never got those creeps. These boys were ready to go. What a shame. Just play your card. I know what you're doing. Just play the time of triumph. There's no. I have no answer for it. What in God's name? You fool! Don't you know I'll kill you now? Don't tell me you have another heal in here. Don't tell me that's a secondary heal. Because I'm out of fucking options. Don't tell me that's a heal. What are you doing? Don't let me win like this. I deserve to lose. Oh, I really got to draw a heal card here, boys. <laughs> this whole deck is about healing and I am not healing. Right. Well, this is bad. <laughs> but no matter what, I guess I'm gonna silence this beautiful dark seer. Oh, Salamene! Oh Lord, I guess he's out of mana, but we'll silence him anyway. This is very unfortunate. I guess I just gotta go for the damage. I don't know what else to do here. I gotta take another tower. Time's up. This is gonna be one big ass bitch! Get him! Get him! <laughs> That's all I got! That's all I got! <laughs> Fair selling mayonnaise. Sell a mayonnaise! Oh, I gotta have some real lucky ass shots next round. I need some good fucking cards to come my way, or I am in a lot of trouble. Already not looking great. <sighs> really? Both the creeps are gonna spawn right there, huh? Just the, the ultimate cuckening right there. I actually probably could have won this game if those two creeps weren't there. That's unfortunate for daddy. Give me some arrows. All right, I got an arrow at least. This is awful. This is awful. Stay strong, my boys. Alright, I got no heal cards. It's over. I cannot heal the tower. I need to win this round. I do have Dimensional Portal, which is pretty hype. Could I win this round? I think I can. But first, I need to survive. No plays for you. Let's make this shit happen, boys. Let's make this shit happen! Alright, double shot here. Who am I taking out? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Fire! Ha! You're done, son! You're done, son! It's over! The long haul has survived! We made it! We made it! We made it! Because we always believed. It looked real bad. It looked real bad. But I knew... 
I knew that we'd make it in the end. I just had to believe in the healing. <laughs> just had to believe in the healing. We just had to trust that we'd make it. <laughs> we made it. Just barely. Look at that damn. Just barely made it. But the long haul worked. I always knew. These fans, they might not have been strong, but they were still there. The weak HP, the weak abilities. And I know we made a lot of bitter enemies. We were killing ourselves for a long time there. But the healing began. And in the end, we came back from darkness. We came back for the long haul, baby! That's what I'm talking about right there. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Deck Pasito. As I told you, good deck. You're going to die in the early game, but you're going to make it in the end. Now, what I want to see this week, if you want to show me those replays and your own custom decks, I want to see heals. Show me heals. I want to see a tower getting 40 heals. Give me those low numbers. Here we go. Artifact's still alive. I'm still alive. And we're in it for the long haul, baby. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next week on another episode. Uh, next couple weeks. I'm going to be a dream hack for a while. We'll see you next time on Deck Pasito. See you later, baby.